hero of your own movie. If your life was a movie and it started now, what would the hero of your life's movie do right now? What is happening, fellow pioneers of human transportation? I'm Yogi Steve. This is ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. I make videos about high-powered scooters. Today, I'm going to talk about all the tools that I use to maintain my scooter. I don't really make fix-it or mechanical videos on this channel. I just want to leave that to people that are more experienced and better than me at that. But if you want to own a scooter in the long term, if you want to do 500, 1,000 miles a month potentially on your electric scooter, you're either going to bring it to a mechanic that you're going to pay money to maintain the tires and the brakes regularly, or you're going to do it yourself. So this is mostly about maintaining tires and brakes. So I'm going to walk you through the tools that I use for that, and maybe some additional side tools if you want to go a little further than that, and maybe work on your frame a little bit one day. Some of the stuff is very simple you can do on your own, but this is a super, super minimalistic toolkit. I'm going to walk you through it. And I will just show you what you basically need to own to maintain your tires and your brakes without bringing it to a mechanic. Before I show you all the tools, let me show you the tools that I drive around with. I think this is really important because it shows that you can really get away with a very small amount of tools, especially when it comes to emergencies. So when I'm on the road, I always make sure that I have this little Dualtron Allen wrench kit. So that'll cover any Allen wrench on almost every single Dualtron model, basically. But I also carry a few extra Allen head wrenches with different handles. You know, these are these have longer handles, these L shapes, you get different leverage on it. This is the one that I use specifically for the quad lock. But I have like a small selection of Allen heads with me on the road. I really like uh, to have a needle nose pliers with me. It's very versatile. And I use it for adjustments to the brakes on the road. I also always carry around my own air pump. You have to have your own air pump when you're on the road. You don't want to rely on a gas station. And now what I've got here, this is not weed. Looks like it's a weed container, but it's not weed. What I've gotten here is these are replacement pins for the valve on the tire. And what this is, this is a metal, a more heavy duty version of this thing here. The last thing that I carry is some version of slime. This is the piece that you use to remove the, va the plug from the valve. And sometimes this breaks, this is a piece of crap. So for a couple bucks, I got one of these. It's the same thing as this, but it's metal and it's heavy duty. And when you put it in the valve, you really feel it kind of grasp and it's just a much better tool. So I carry the extra valves, the valve remover, the pump, Dualtron Allen wrench kit, needle nose pliers, some various Allen wrench heads and some slime. And that's all I carry when I'm on the road. Now going over everything else you're gonna need for the scooter for long-term maintenance. And again, this is mostly about maintaining the tires and the brakes. So starting with the tires, I think it's pretty simple. These are replacement tubes. I always have more of these than I need. This is a replacement tire. I have a bunch of tires over here. You can see I just got like crap all over the place, but you need tubes, at least one replacement tire because it's gonna happen. You're gonna have a blowout. You're gonna have a flat. You're gonna run over a glass or a nail or something, and you're gonna need that. You're also gonna need, again, your air pump. So you can do all that by yourself. You don't really wanna be using, I don't would not wanna be using like a tire manual bicycle tire air pump. And you also need, when you change tires on these bigger scooters, a socket wrench kit. This is a super, super basic socket wrench kit. It might've cost me 40 bucks. That runs from three quarters to 19. What does that even mean? Three quarters inches to 19 what? That's how terrible I am, but it doesn't even matter. This has all the sizes that you need to change pretty much any on the scooter. You're going to need to take off the side arms when you change the tire on a Dualtron and many of the other bigger scooters. So you need a socket wrench kit for your tire work pretty much mostly. And as you get a little more advanced in working on the scooter, if you want to do some frame work, you need a socket wrench kit for sure. So then when it comes to working on brakes, what do you need for brakes? You need replacement pads. Look at all these fucking pads I have. But regardless, you need replacement pads. You should have a bunch of those in advance ready to go. You need your Allen wrenches. There's just all different forms of Allen wrenches. I actually have them all over the table. This is like a jar of kind of various sizes with some bigger ones for, for framework, really. And these are just different sizes. I really like these with the heavy duty handles. These are probably the best type 
if you're really doing a lot of work on your scooter, you get very good leverage on it. It's easier to use. But you need some sort of a variety of Allen wrenches to do your brake work. And really, pretty much, that's all you really need for your brakes. You need the Allen wrench, you need the brake pads, and pretty much nothing else. And when it comes to a screwdriver or additional varieties of Allen head wrenches, I actually found, I can't even believe it, I found this kit on the street. It's all these different bits for Allen heads and screwdrivers. Along with a good handle like this, I even have like a different size handle to fit into different spaces. But man, a little, a little kit like this with different size bits in it is just like super, super valuable. It really helped me as I was trying to get the tire off my most recent Ultra. The Loctite was super tight. I needed an Allen head, I needed an Allen head screwdriver that was very small and tight but would still fit. And I found it in here. So I don't know what these would sell for. They might be expensive. Going further into repairing the scooter, if you want to do more than brakes or tires, the first thing you'll work on by yourself will be the stem. And the stem doesn't really require too many specialized tools except for one of these. This is a spanner wrench and you cannot find these anywhere. You can pretty much only find these on like Alibaba or maybe I think they're originally for motorcycles, I'm not sure. But this is the right size to adjust the gear nut on the Dualtron Ultra, which every 4,000 miles or so, I rebuild the stem, because that's what the manufacturers recommend, and it just is what it is. You want it to be tight and safe, so I ordered this off of Alibaba. I could not find this locally anywhere. If you want to go further into repairing the scooter, there's a matter of working on the electrics, which I have not really done on my own, but I did purchase, on the recommendation of Ginger on Wheels, two tools for self-diagnosis, a multimeter, a digital multimeter. These are the cords that come with it. This is a non-contact voltage tester. I'll just recommend to buy this stuff so if I do decide to analyze and work on my own electrical problems, these are just a couple of the basic tools that I will need. Now, so far I haven't used them for anything. I've been having people help me with anything electrical. You know, I guess occasionally you just want also to have a nice adjustable wrench. There's nothing wrong with that. It's a good tool to have. But I made sure to really look at this table, this kind of modest table of tools and think, is there anything else that I need to work on the scooter? Not really. Very, very simple repairs and stuff. If I missed anything, I'm not perfect. Throw it in the comments. Tell me what I missed, guys. Thanks again for watching my videos. If you liked the video, please give me a like. Please subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below. Ask me questions. You know I'll always write you back. I'm Yogi Steve, ESA, the Electric Scooter Academy. Thanks again for your support.